All right, so I want to talk about the idea of distributing with sheep. So this is going to get a bit bizarre, but I want you to look at this quantity of sheep and think, okay, there are two ways for me to split this thing into groups, right? If I split into three groups this way, so these are three evenly sized groups, right? At the moment, these are three groups, right? And each group is made of two blue sheep and three red sheep. Okay? So when I think this way, I have three groups, each made of three red sheep and two blue sheep. But if I split the other way, right, that would be grouping red sheep this way and blue sheep this way. You guys see what I've done? I made subgroups, right? It's still the same flock of sheep, but now I've got, let's see, there's these three groups, right? Each of which is made of three red sheep. And then also there's three more groups, one, two, three more groups, each made of two blue sheep. You guys see that? So this quantity here is this flock of sheep, but that flock of sheep is also this quantity here. And what did I do to get from that one to this one? I took the number of groups, right, and I distributed it onto the pieces. Cool? So distributing is not magic. I just want to be totally clear that this is something that has to happen because of the way we think about multiplication. Right? We think about multiplication as groups of things, and here's a picture that illustrates that we have to be able to do distributing if our concept of grouping is going to work.